Yo, Gyarados, how much damage you do? I can do about 210 damage. Unless it's fire. There's only one Crash Awaken left in my deck. So there's only one trainer, so this is gonna go for maximum damage over and over, almost. Oh, there's no more. Maximum damage every attack now. Wormwood. Damn. Nice damage. I'll buy that. How much you want? Hmm. How about one energy? Man, that's expensive. But I'll take it. I Wait, how much? Dude, one energy is cool, man. Wow. That did really took Yeah, Hello, Rogros, and Frenchels, it's Stone. Welcome back to my kitchen. Finally, right? Yes, I'm glad to see you back, and here we go. Let's kick it off with a budget, very, very effective Gyarados list. Yep, this is the deck list, and you see, man, that's a lot less cards than usual. That's because this deck's a bit special. Turns out that you don't need to put all those thinners when you're using Gyarados. Yes, you just need the bare minimum and a new supporter that makes this deck run smooth. Yup, green strainer, any two trainers you want, as long as you don't have abilities on your Pokemon. Luckily, Gyarados is just that, I don't need much. Give me the energy, don't put any extra stuff in deck space, and this is the bare skeleton you need to go for Gyarados to do lots of damage with one energy. You're not really explaining that much, but a lot of it you're just gonna see, so... Here's the attack, one energy. You look at the next seven cards, the more energies are, the more damage it does. And you shuffle all the energies back, I think not an energy goes into this card. So it gets stronger as the game goes on. Given that, we just have the right skeleton to make this work, and, and that's something that I like to show you as the game goes. So, speaking of games, let's go to that. Let me show you why this Gyarados is awesome. Here we go. Let's go. All right. Magic up front. I can... Fill up my bench super hard here. All right, let's go. I'm gonna play my cover. This is Sucker from the Jonas Brothers. Here's my cover of that. Well, the answer to tanky Pokemon is you can still good value. Uh, you outvalue it, but you're only worth one prize card. All right. Good luck to you, Blastuflon. You got weakness damage to me. You should be easy to one-shot most of your guys. And yeah, here we go. We're going to retreat into a Vulpix right now. So I'm going to grab a Vulpix out. And luckily this started in my hand right here. So I could just go ahead and get all the Magic Arps out there. So I'm not going to lose any Magic Arps whatsoever. And there are three Gyarados in my hand already. Mmm, sexy nice burst. Here we go. And one's in the prize? That's fine. And luckily this deck has now has the Guzma available to take those prize cards off the bench. So, it's much more lethal. Okay! Bless Cephalon, I'm rooting for you! Do it, man! Alright, get energy back there. Wish Baton! Get that draw supporter, bro! Okay. Green's Exploration. Ah! It looks like he's got the build. He's got the build, so what are we gonna do here? We need to, the best thing is to go fight now, but I think if I did that, he would definitely lose. Uh, of course he would definitely lose. Let's let's save the Guzma when we really need it. Oh wait a minute. What am I putting energy here? I can't attack now. Whoops! I was gonna use that as my retreat. I should have Guzma then. Whoops. Okay! Then the deck even more! That was a mistake. Who's my attack? Pull your draw supporter, dude. You need to get stretcher out ASAP. Yes, I do. Poke gear. There we go. There's his catch-up mechanism. Didn't want that game to end this fast. So, so let me see. He's gonna kill me with this now. I was. He's gonna kill me with that dirty mistake there. Ooh, he pulled the lieutenant surge for a triple combo. So what we're we gonna do with this? Fiery flint. Let me see where the energy goes. This, I don't think it's the appropriate time to Guzma right now. Alright, take surprise. Should I... There's no re... Is there a reason to Guzma? Is there a reason to Guzma? 
I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna fight with four Gyarados here. Alright, green! Let's go ahead and get those rescue stretchers out. Or just green to rescue stretchers. Yeah. Green, 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 over and over and over. Taking this out, he just keeps all his energies there, so... Let's go! Big giant! 360 damage. Lost a green, unfortunately, but... Okay. Dolls too excited? Huh? Okay. Could put rescue... Uh, field blower in. That's okay. Alright, you are the last... Gyaradosis. This will get me a Gyarados. This could get me a match cup. I think green can grab me all the remaining stuff here. So we should be able to fight with all the Gyaradoses, pretty much. Alright, now! He's going! But his, his setup is still much more dangerous. Okay. Da -da -da. That's much more, I would say much more... He needs to get three energies, lose three energies from his hand every time. This is great against GXs, but against one prizers, it's a strain as the game goes on, because... Uh, or should be a strain as the game goes on. Alright. And if he does dare put a GX down, which I don't think so, he could, then we could not get a KO with this little hidden hit there. Alright! He needs four more prize cards. Basically, we just need one more Gyarados set up, and we're good. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. Rescue Stretcher. Here we go. And with this, I don't think I need anything else here. Rescue Stretcher, get that Gyarados back out. So, I need one more Gyarados. So one more Rescue Stretcher should be good. Rescue Stretcher, and another green. Yep. Let's grab... Let's put you down here. Let's put the energy here. Do we throw these down? One just in case of anything bad. Uh, let's go ahead and do this still blast. Yeah, medium damage. And I think that last rescue stretcher just went down. Yep, there it goes. That's okay, we don't need it. Yeah, that's the last rescue stretcher. No more Garrett, nothing coming back. No, when you made the energy misplays, killed the guy with two energies. Yep, yep, I did that. I should have, I should have. Alright! We're pretty even, but who needs to work more? The guy who needs to spend three energies per Pokemon, four energies, three energies per uh, in his hand, or the, with the one. Yep. Okay. And he's like, nope, I can still do this. If he does keep on going, he is currently in the lead. He's taking the first prize card before me. So, I'm 100% sure, almost 100% sure, that I can make it to the end right now. But he, if he does, able to do it, he will win. Because he takes that first prize. He's ahead of me, in that sense. So he just needs to not mess up for four turns, and I'm rooting for you. I am absolutely rooting for you, buddy. And it's working. I am scared. I am absolutely afraid. I'm like wishing I put one one field blower so I can uh, mess up his combo here. But he may not have enough wish batons for the entire game. We'll see. We will see now. All right. Hi, hi, White Lum. How's it going? It's going good, man. We're watching. Well. We're rooting for this Blacephalon player. Well, I am, because I want this Blacephalon to win against uh, its weakness here. Alright. Now, we're gonna get that last rescue stretcher. I only have the prizes to fight with these three, so... That's that's how it is. And maybe that Vulpix would be bad here. Okay. <laughs> there's, no, there's only one Crash Awakening left in my deck. So there's only one trainer, so this is going to go for maximum damage over and over, almost. Oh, there's no more maximum damage every attack now. We have no more trainers out of that. Green just took everything out. Green search. And he can do it too, so... My opponent can still win. He is ahead in that prize card count, and if you do it, good game. I've got all my Gyaradoses ready. Nothing's left in the deck. I will do 100% damage every single attack now. 
I'm rooting for you still, buddy. He's got no more clowns around. Oh, good move. Now that I can't attack, I'm not going to throw Gyarados out. I'm going to throw this Vulpix out right here. Unless he put another card down, I will Guzma that bar, and he may not expect that. Because Gyarados decks are a little different. Well, I made it different here. All right. Throw a Pokemon down, it will be a mistake. But if you don't throw a Pokemon... Yeah. And I will send the Vulpix out instead, because you it's worthless. Because I can't hurt you. One Pokemon down, and I will Guzma and take it out. No reason to lose the Gyarados. Send the Vulpix out. But if I do send this out, he must spend more energies. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter either way. If I do this, he must spend more energy. He can't conserve as much energies. And there's look at the prize cards. So I, I know this will fail, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Because it doesn't matter. I know I'm not gonna... <laughs> it's, I don't need anything here. All right, so he did not go. He didn't throw a Pokemon down. He didn't. He needs one more to win. And if he can get that last Blood Cephalon going, that's that. So I want him to spend more energies instead of just two. Spend three. It doesn't matter in the end. And I don't know what happened to those rescue stretchers because he needs a bad. He or maybe he knew about my Guzma. He's 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 in the channel. So now. Yep, making you spend more energies instead of easy to. Ooh, Charizard! <laughs> okay. I am so glad I have this in my deck now. You know, we know we have 100% of damage. Thank you, Guzma. Man, the, our losses have helped so much with the, this deck over this stream. Our losses have helped so much. Why would it- there we go. We have maximum damage. Three prize card, go do it! Maximum- the war 80! <laughs> oh! Thank you, Guzma! Man! After losing, losing, losing and making the deck better, man, thank you, Guzma, for being here in the deck. You gotta have that Guzma, and we just would not find that out if we didn't, uh, we didn't lose a couple matches back. Woo! Oh, man, you are hard to hammer out, given that you're a really special deck there. Anti-GX stuff. Psychic, you look like you could be wheezing. Despite having the, that, that deck box, but whatever. Let's... Okay, Dragon the Lowland Executor. Got it, got it, got it. I'm go let's go. I'm gonna play my cover. This is Before My Body Is Dry from Kill La Kill. My cover of it. And let's see, we're not starting off with Vulpix, so this could be a little bit slower. Because how do you get your Gyarados out? You need that Vulpix. And, you know, sometimes you start off with the Magic Art, but as long as you got some trainers, you might be okay. So we have uh, Green's Exploration. And that's gonna grab me to the stadium. The stadium immediately gets me a uh, Pokemon on the field, which... Let's see, who's that? Professor Elm does not. So that's why you gotta have the stadium here. So wait, let me see, is there anything too dangerous? Big cut if you have exactly four prizes remaining, so you have to... Nope. Don't have to be worried about that just yet. Okay, so I think we're good. So as long as you have, uh, you have a way to save yourself, here we go. Now, do not let all the stadiums be prize. Thank you. It looks like, let me see, I want to chain greens. I also want rescue stretcher, but I, I believe that I can get away with crash or wake. So I'm not going to pull the green yet. I'm just going to pull the rescue stretcher. Maybe, I don't know about Guzma. He doesn't seem like he has any big GX that I need to go for. And I already got Guzma in my hand right now. So here, what are you going to do to save yourself? Brooklet Hill for the Lola Vulpix. And then we'll put energy here to retreat because, oh man, Vulpix needs to get the Gyarados out. We can get Pokemon through this. So, that's why the stadium is so big, you gotta have it, and we, well, after that mistake with Gardevoir, we know! So, Gyarados takes priority because I can already get Magikarp through here, and if I really want to, through here too. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, you can actually get anything with this, but that's okay. We can fight next turn, definitely, for sure. And he's like, oh darn, he took the stadium away. 
That's fine. That means we'll have to resort to plan B. The only problem is I may not have the energies to attack. Nope, well, I have well, at least one energy to attack. Alright, so, uh, this has 160 HP. That is a little bit tough for Gyarados to hit. I mean, he needs five... Yeah, he needs... Actually, six energies. But then it's a two-shot KO both ways here. And not only that, we can just grab the Vulpix back through this. We should be okay, but we need more, uh, yeah, we need more Magic Ups now. Luckily, was another water energy. So this time, I'm gonna have to grab out, I can grab anything here. If I, let's see, I can get another Vulpix now. I need a Stadium immediately. And at this point, we can't play another Crash or Wake, so I'll play Green's Exploration. That's my last Stadium right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull this down. Let's go ahead and evolve Gyarados, and now we need we need a top deck energies, but given how many energies in the deck, I think we might be okay with that. So let's make sure that we have another magic card to fight with next turn. We're gonna have to top deck an energy. And just in case something goes bad, we learn our lesson. If you get hit by a, a my shadow, you gotta have a Vulpix somewhere. So now I, I don't expect to two-shot this. I don't think he two shots me either. We lost the Vulpix, that's Okay, that's fine. But five energies, I don't- That five- Wow, that's actually enough! I was wrong, I need five energies to get a KO. Alright, so in that case, you can see momentum is big time going to my- Well, I don't know big time, but that- that was good luck. That was good luck, just don't- Put your head in the game there. Alright, we got Gyarados bodybuilding the level is gonna make it a little tougher. And gonna get another- Yeah, all you could actually put some two removals with green exploration, but, well... Is that- didn't, didn't come into play until now. So I'm gonna have to hit all heads to take it out. However, the thing is, let me see his damage count. It's not that high. I'm, he only can go for a two shot. Right now it's about a three sh Yeah, it's a three shot. He can't two shot me just yet, but that's easily fixed with, there we go, with that Ultra Ball. That Ultra Ball is gonna get a Shuckles. It should get a Shuckles. And that Shuckles is gonna bring that Executor's maximum damage, which is 120. Okay, it might become now. There we go, there's that Chuckles, that Ultra Ball. Is that already had my hand? I was looking for something else, Donald. So this thing discards three basic energies. And that powers up Tropical Shake's power to a big deal. It's like, oh my, Discard's so colorful with different types of energies. Maximum 120 damage right there. So let me see, what was that card? Acrobite. All right, it's a cheap deck thunder. You get two cards, throw one away. <laughs> deck thunder's, just... all right. So uh, let's see, he needs one energy to attack. I'm sure there it is. There it is. So he can't. He's at max of damage. Two shot. And we need to deal with it anyway. So we're not gonna go try to play Guzman. Anything silly here. We did top deck an energy, unfortunately. And this is where I start fishing out my Gyarados. And we're gonna evolve all the Gyarados. And I'm thinking I'm gonna top deck energy just fine here. And I can hold on to the energies. Because you'll never know. I'm really low on energies right now. And let's go ahead, we need the, to keep the fight going, so it's going to be rescue stretchers here. And I'm going to hopefully depend on this for another magic arp soon. Uh, I think I already used it, there we go. So, we're, let me see, no, I don't need that Vulpix just yet, I'm holding, I know I, I only take one energy to it, so I'm holding to it. Oh my gosh, I killed the magic arp. That's a little lame. That's okay, that's why we got the rescue stretcher, so that was... that's RNG. So one magic up too, that's the last magic up right there. I saw it, but hey man, it could happen. So, we still have most of the rescue stretchers here. I don't... yeah, that's all the rescue... most? That's all the rescue stretchers. You can count, Donald, right? That's four rescue stretchers. And so, let's start doing the math. How many mad Gyarados can you fight left? And this is all you have, everything else is in the discard. You got no more magic cards, you got no more... nothing. So this is your last team. All right, so let's go send in the Gyarados. It's ready to fight. And it looks like I'm only gonna be fight with one more. Oh yeah, that's 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 a little rough there. Pretty much we are very limited right now. All right, so let's go ahead and find Magic Up. It looks like these, this Gyarados, this Gyarados, and this is the la it, man. Unless I can pull Rescue Stretcher and then do Crash or Wake, that will also help too. Like the, the second version of the Rescue Stretcher, so that's what I'm going to try to gun for. But I'm going to wait for it, at least uh, this to go through. Let me see if there's anything else. Put this on the bench, you know, that's better thinning and uh, the bench space. You definitely got plenty of that. So we're going to do this still Blast. Alright, take that out. Right now, the crunch for water energy is a bit rough, so hopefully I pull some of the prize cards. Ah, 
Alright, so these are the two last Magikarps, and he, the combo here is to rescue Stretcher, like in order to let this not be the last Gyarados. I can squeeze one more in, but I need Crash for Wake 2. Luckily, we didn't have to go that far. Luckily, 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 we didn't have to go that far. He goes for two shot. We have mostly a one shot, so therefore trade was in my favor. All right, so good deal, good deal, good job, Gyarados. You're pretty balanced. I mean, this is a cheap deck and pretty effective deck to do, so I, I totally recommend it. Now, no, this isn't the ending yet, so but I'm just, I just let you know. Okay. Yeah, I like to go. Don't say I can be okay. But I like to go first. All right, so oh, so many good trainers in that starting hand there. Let's play the Dragonborn. You're a dragon like Gyarados? Like, uh, practically. Why well, you're not a dragon, but great starting hand. Great, 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 great starting hand. All right, we learned our lesson. Put a Vulpix out on the bench no matter what, else you are screwed. <laughs> so, we got Judge. We got Judge Marciano, so... All right, what do we do? Professor Elm for sure with the Vulpix on the bench. Oh, the Wondrous Labyrinth will hurt me if it comes out. It is gonna, it might show up, but I mean, it's not gonna hurt me too badly, but it's gonna suck that we don't have any, uh, we don't have any stadiums because we want damage, man. All right. So I know exactly what this deck is. This is, of course, Gard Gard of War. Gard of War. All right. So, lesson learned. I have a Vulpix somewhere, and me and him have two Vulpix. Why two Vulpix? <laughs> You've learned your lesson. There might be a judge coming and that will be the end of you. You don't have a Vulpix on your bench. We're going to retreat as well immediately. And I need that second Vulpix. Here are three Gyarados ready to go. Yep. Yep, I know. Okay. Okay, Godzilla 2? I'm straight in a row. Oh, Godzilla. I, I saw that movie uh, coming out. Godzilla's cool. Of course, it's like... Pokemon, but scarier. Like, really powerful, legendary Pokemons. But scarier. Much scarier. Diantha. Alright, so! This thing takes a while to go up. It really needs... It really, 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 really needs a... I think, Silvalai. I, I've seen this. I like the synergy between uh, Gardevoir and Sylveon and this. But the max motion you get from uh, Silvalai combo really puts the stacks in the next level. Like, that's the way you gotta do it, man. Alright! Godzilla to Gyarados. Two my dr dragons. Ish. Alright. What are we gonna do next? We're not ready to attack. We get the Gyarados. And at least we got Vulpix so we don't get screwed over by a, a judge. We just got screwed over by a judge. Those of you on YouTube. Twitch is like, oh, we know what you're talking about, Donald. You made this. Yeah. Alright! Green Search! Dust Stone, Wondrous Labyrinth, that's gonna hurt. I like, I, we knew it. We knew it, there's no way to get it out. We could put one stadium and Green Search it out, but I think I can able to play through it. Not only that, she one-shots me too. Uh, uh, it's not ready just yet. It's gonna take at least two more turns, and that may be Enough to get a couple Gyarados, two Gyarados going. But, yeah. We'll put one stadium in so we can green search, have a chance to green search it out. Does this get me from the, from a deck, huh? Search your deck. Okay. Mm okay. Mm okay, this was gonna hurt. Mm, like a field ball or something in there. Godzilla doesn't scare me, he's awesome. Hey, kill Al! He is awesome. All right. Am I? Are you gonna give me a free prize? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So at this point, we need two energies up, and we need to attack. Oh shoot! I forgot. It's not a free attack. That sucks. Definitely. Put a stadium in so he don't do have to deal with this. He's gonna take a prize card. That may be a good, useful card for me. This is a very good, useful card. Not ready to attack just yet. This means I can only get one Gyarados up. This may be too much for me to handle. 
put one stadium to green to search out. This is too, uh, this is too overbearing. We'll see. Um, the problem is he one shots all my Gyarados, and normally I I only need one energy. I need two now. That takes a lot. That takes way too much. If I could could have removed the stadium with Green Search, then I could handle them. But right now I can't do it. I don't want to miss energy return, and this using this again, this will be tough. This will be real, real tough. Let's worry about attacking instead of grabbing Gyarados here. Let's not miss a bait with our energies here, and leave it at that. Why could I use green? Did I listen to ability? Oh, no wonder. Oh, okay. Well, take that out for Brooklyn Hill. One Brooklyn Hill so you can do this. Oh, oh, screw it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. I forgot about that. Okay. Place well, the Choice Man helmet for Gardevoir. That's good. That's not bad. That's not bad. A lot of GXs, Tag Team GXs, hit for that amount too, so... Okay. You know, you open a lot of doors and then I expected. Yeah, 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 ah, 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 then you can green search for, you don't have to go for Professor Elm, you go just for your stadium, then out and have stadium control. Alright, I think, I don't think I can fight against this. I'm gonna say well played. Just to give my opponents uh, some satisfaction. Yeah, I like to go first, let's go! Dang, I want that Pikachu coin. That's expensive. Not a bad start. Not a bad. It's a great start. Now we can actually use green search and see uh, see his usefulness. So I'm playing Blinded by Light from Final Fantasy 13. Mew for bench protection. It's fine. Ooh, water. Hey, Charizard. I'm a water deck. I'm a I'm a pretty cheesy water deck too. All right, so he shouldn't do 60 damage on his turn one. Yeah, there are decks that do that, but not too many decks. Mew ruins greens, yes it does. And this is a this is the new thing I want to do with Gyarados, so. Yep! Well, we're gonna put it into our hand. We need Birch. And I believe. We're gonna get the other two supporters. We're gonna get the other two supporters. And she thins out all the supporters sure that really, really, really nicely. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, that's what we were talking about. Donald, you should have a mirror in your deck. Here we go. We'll grab this as well as we could chain green over and over. I think that might be what I want to do. Green, 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 green. Get all those thinners out over and over in your deck. So finally, it's here for us to abuse that. Um, here's a retreat energy. May need, may not. You got 30 energy in your deck. It's probably no big deal right there. Red Gladian for prize! Normally, this deck is special. You have 30 energy, so you're not gonna Gladian. You're not. We're just gonna be using Ditto to help place it, because there was a game. I'm talking through you guys on YouTube. There was a game that two Magic Carpets got prized. You're not gonna win like that. And that was. We couldn't draw it out no matter what. Oh, Snorlax! Yeah, that's a good pick. And you can thin energies with this, but that's not what you wanna do with us here. Welder. Uh, well, there's Snorlax. Alright! That's... Uh, well, at least I'm not dead! Not dead is good! Gonna switch in! Gonna be ready to kill this Vulpix! That's fine, Vulpix is still gonna... Wait, oh. uh, luckily, that was not a DCE. Luck, I think that... You don't have a way to get third energy, right? I really want to play this out, but man, if you kill my Vulpix now, that's gonna be that. Right? Right? You don't have any other way to get another energy on. You're just gonna do cheer up. 
And I'm not gonna lose the game off the bat, because that was my only Pokemon there. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. All right. Let's go ahead and play Professor Elm. And that's gonna get us Magikarp, Magikarp, Magikarp. Yeah, what else? Magikarp. 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 Beacon. Gyarados, Gyarados. Why took it? Wouldn't, wouldn't another Magikarp be bad? Be a better? Let's just go for two Gyarados. Alright, so, you will get blown up to itty bitty pieces, and we're gonna now use Green's Explorations to start thinning the deck hard. Thin it, thin it, thin it, thin it, thin it. And that's what we're, uh, that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna try to take as many supporters and trainers out, over and over. Oh, no! No more Shadows to take, finish, take this out. No! No, 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 no. Oh, gosh, that's a good counter. That was good. You better top deck something else big now. No, I couldn't agree before. I think I, I, I used that. Enter the dragon, go. But then he'll KO me. No, what a crazy Marshadow. GG. That was perfect. That was perfect. It we need another Vulpix down to, to counter that. Alright, I've learned my lesson. I did not expect that Marshadow to come through. But now I can't get anything for it. Let's just say, well played. That was a great Marshadow. You could have come back with a Vulpix. Put one Vulpix down on your bench in case a judge or something happens like that. Donald, how do you feel about this deck? I think it's pretty good. It's not the best deck, but you're on even footing with everything else. However, the value, the one prize, the easiness of to use this deck. Oh yeah. First of all, making this deck is pretty good. Yes, yeah, doesn't none of these cards should cost too much. Not only that, the performance is really, really, really nice compared to other meta decks. Yeah, you can take on them. So uh, you're not gonna be overwhelming, but you're gonna be even footing. So yep. If you got a little bit extra, pick that Gyarados deck. You you'll be fine. All right. So. What is up for next time? Ha <laughs> Where's Arcanine, man? I want to do Arcanine next. There we go. All right, similar, you know, looking values here, as you can see. So, we're gonna try Arcanine for next time. Don't you forget that clown? The clown's gonna be later. I want Arcanine. That is it for now. Thank you, Unicorns, Parental. Stay safe. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Bye bye.